is, right? Got my brother in the building. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, the house. She ain't you know talking too is. much. We Here here's we be. Got you, got you. Back outside, boys. You feel me? You see the beast? House on the chest. House yep. on my back too. Yeah, I might get through the freestyle. I don't know. Can you? Oh, I me. I'm done. Tapped out. You tapped out. Nah, nah, not for me. Not for me. You're up next. VIP Saturdays. Let's get it. Here we got all the bars. I'm, I'm out. You know what it is, Superstar J VIP Saturdays. Got motherfucking warehouse music group in the motherfucking building. Yeah, I'm saying my G. Yeah, hold on, hold on, right? So I'm I'm a, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let my my listeners know, right? I got got over probably like 20 million followers. Okay, you know what I mean? But you listeners, you know what I'm saying? Niggas listeners worldwide, that, talk that talk. Now 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 Huey. Now the extra two million females that might not know who you are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Introduce yourself. You already know, Northside, Northside, very, um, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, stand up. Milwaukee, I'm you from Northside, too, yeah. Queens, baby. Yeah, you know Huey, Huey, Huey in the building, you feel me? Warehouse Music Group, stand okay. up. Okay, CEO hey. right here, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I'm from every side, Brooklyn, nigga, you yeah. already know, we here, cuz. Okay, let's yeah. get it. <laughs> Yo, now, let's talk about it, man. Um, You know, Bleak, you know, Memphis Bleak. My G, bro. Yes, now, how, how did this all come about? Um, Because I had a few of your artists come up here, and you've never been up here. Damn, why are you trying to tie me to the train tracks? I'm just saying, you've hey, never been up there. You're trying to throw me under the bus. <laughs> no, you're trying to tie me to the train tracks. <laughs> nah, nah, we had a few, <laughs> you know, warehouse music group artists now. Um, when did you want to just start your own label? Ah, uh, since since before I dropped my first album. This was, I've been wanting to do this. This is man. what you've been wanting to this, do. This was a dream of mine since a kid. I never wanted to be a star. I was I, I was a shy kid, so mm -hmm. even my mom is like, yo, you be on stage and doing all this yeah. stuff. Bro, you didn't even want to go to graduation. You used to tell them, send that home. <laughs> I got to walk on that stage. Now nah, I'm cool. Mail that. I'm good. Mail that to the crib. We good. So uh, so I just wanted to ask, so since you've been wanting to do this, yes. when did you want to take this seriously? Because, like, you know, we this is, this is my friend right here. And he was like, Jay, I don't, I don't really do the rap thing no more, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm CEO that, yeah. type shit. Yeah. We was on tour. You was telling me about, you know, the label before it even came about. Yeah. What made me want to take it serious was I got a call from True Life, right? Shout and out to he, True Life. And you know, he told me go to Miami. He was like, Yo, my brother got a studio. Shout mm. out my partner Debo. He's like, Yo, he got some artists. I want you to go down there and make sure these niggas ain't whack or whatever, right? Yeah. So I go down to Miami or whatever. Of course, they wasn't what we what, what niggas needed. So I'm telling mm -hmm. true like it's whatever. So then we we stumble across Manolo Rose. This wasn't even nothing that we wanted a label or nothing. We was all just trying to get Manolo a situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Good so guy. You know, he yeah. was from the hood. So it's like, yo, me and Debo pull up on the studio and Cheech and all of us. And then when I hit Hove, I'm like, yo, I got Manolo Rose. Y'all should sign him to the nation. You know what I'm saying? All mm -hmm. that. And he was like, nah, you sign him. Now, right. people like that get together because people might not know who that who you're talking about. Who? When you said Hove. They know who the hell Hove is. All right, is. all right. You so, don't <laughs> climb from under that fucking rock. <laughs> we talking about Jay-Z here, so... He, I can never say that. Yo, those... Never. 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 I, I've known just, him you too know, long to say that. Yeah. It's like him calling me, hey, Memphis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, with, with the whole Manola Rose situation, uh, what what happened? Ah, uh, you know, it's you know things. Certain people work great together, and mm -hmm. certain people just don't. Like he's still a homie, his bros. They still a bro. They from the hood. Yeah, you know, certain business things just don't work out. They want things one way, and things go a certain way. And you know, the nation play by their rules. So we got to play by the games that's allowed to us. Yes, certain people can move with it. Certain people don't. Now, um, after Manola Rose, you had another person, Casanova, free Shout the to, dog. Yeah, free the dog. Um, and he he was representing. You yep. know, Warehouse Music Group. And why did you want to sign him? Ah, uh, Casanova was just a force to be reckoned with from Brooklyn. You know, Tax Stone, shout out Tax, free the homie. Mm -hmm. And you know, he told me about him. He came to me. Tax was like, yo, I got the homie Cass. I think you should listen to him. Him yeah. and the homie Germ, who running Win a, Win a Circle right now, they was the ones pushing Cass on me. Because at first, I ain't think Cass was really a rapper. Yeah. It was like, yo, he just came home from jail. He just stumbled across one. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, but then it... it he came to me, gave me some records. I liked what I heard. I sent it up the flagpole. We went to the worked. next level like Mario Brothers, baby. You heard? But you always <laughs> been the person that's been behind the scenes. Never took this, you know. Oh, I, I, I was because of this success. 
Yeah, no, we talked no. about this. You've yeah. always been the person. That say, I, I, ain't, I don't need all that shit. Yeah, because credit don't spend, man. Checks do. I want the check. I don't want the credit. The they check. got the credit. They could give the credit to the janitor. I'm going to start giving the credit to the janitor mm-hmm. so he could get a promotion. Fuck it. Now, now, when you was telling me, now, after all this, you said, I have an artist. He's out of Milwaukee. Yeah. I said, wow, Milwaukee. I've, yeah. I've never heard anybody from Milwaukee. Yeah, just Cuckoo Cow. Yeah. My project. Shout out to Cuckoo. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm My project. Niggas know that shit was ringing everywhere. Yes, everywhere. yes, yes, yes. For sure. <laughs> so you said I have an artist named Huey V. Mm-hmm. Let me hear the, the record. I was like, oh, he he got it. Yeah. And you've been a, this has been a working process now, Huey. You know what I mean? I know you, you know, how do you feel, you know, Memphis Bleak being your CEO and just all the legendary stuff that he's been through and he's, you know, creating. I mean, it's it's a blessing for sure, but it's, it's big shoes to fill. Like, you just, you got to be on, on point. I, the first time you met yeah. Bleak, what, what did you, what, how did you feel about him? You, first, first, low-key, the first time I met him, he was like, yo, I ain't gonna lie to you, you a, you a cool young dude. Like, you ain't doing too much extra. Like, yeah. I think we was at uh, my manager's, uh, like, aunt's crib or something like that, watching yeah. Telemundo in the crib. Like, regular vibes. <laughs> yo, yeah. let me, let me, let me give you, vibes. let me give you a, a story about Memphis Bleak. This is when I knew that me mm. and him would be good friends. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Bleak was like, yo, I got some money to do a verse. Yeah. We were in the middle of nowhere in Canada. Yo, yo. <laughs> Tell him. <laughs> where we was at? Winnipeg? I don't know where the fuck we I was in. We was in Winnipeg somewhere, yeah, bro. Yeah, we was in Winnipeg, yeah, right? Yeah, Puzo was there. Puzo, Puzo, Puzo was, was there. there. That's my that's my that's my guy right yeah, there. Puzo was there. But it was three of us. <laughs> Bleak was like, I think this is when he came, this is when he said, I love Jay, right? <laughs> He said, I'm going to do a verse. I was like, where are you going? He's like, I don't know. Yeah, we went in a basement, right? And it was like a rock nation shrine. Like, it was yo, like, you remember? Well, heard up. They had everything. You remember? Records, shirts, Remember the movie? The up. movie, the, the, the uh, Jim Carrey, when the dude was um, obsessed with the whole... The, what was it? When the Dan Marino? The show, what is it? The Newman Show? What was it? No, it was, it was Jim Carrey. You remember? What was the name of it? Vince Ventura. Oh, Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura. You remember when the dude was obsessed with Dan yeah, Marino? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. We went in the basement, right? First, we had no security. <laughs> Nothing. We're in somebody's ourselves. hood. In Winnipeg. It's freezing. And we're not even scared. We like it, this. And the bleak, like, yeah. I'm like, all right, whatever. Yeah, it's Jack Frost outside. Yeah, this is where Santa is. Claus was born. That's Yo, how cold it is. Cheech, we were in somebody's <laughs> This wasn't Yo, the studio. It was Puzo, a house. Puzo, what's homie name? Because. P, no, P. Silver. P. Silver. P. Silver. He had a Rockefeller chain. I don't yeah. know how he got one. Nigga had the gold teeth with the red on it. Yeah. Like his mouth was bleeding. Remember? Yeah. P. Silver, yeah. yeah, P. Silver out there in Winnipeg putting it down. We was in the basement. Yeah. Yo, I swear. We was in there you for know, a minute. they got that video on YouTube. Oh, yeah? Uh, 100%. You put up P. Silver and bleak that shit on YouTube. We in the basement Yo, in Huey, Winnipeg. Yo, Listen. All, he has all his jewelry on. Yeah. yeah. We're in a we're in somebody's family's basement. They had a studio. It was a real good studio. Yep, yep. And Bleak did his first one take, and then we was out. He's like, we out. <laughs> in, the, in the middle of Gwinnipeg. Like, yeah, we was out there, my Different, G. different. That's that's when I said Bleak is the truth <laughs> uh, about his money. <laughs> Shout out to that bag. P name? Silver. Shout out to P Silver, man. Word. Now, now you said you was in in, in your, your aunt's house, and mm. Bleak came by. Oh, oh no! Yeah, we, we we put up to my manager's on script. Okay, like, well, yeah, well, it was, we was in NY. Yeah, yeah it was in right. NY. Yeah. All I right. Took a, uh, I took a flight down. It's my first flight, like into New York City. Yeah, my first flight ever. I, I remember the day and everything. February seventh, like I, I, I remember, like it was yesterday. For okay, real. I'm saying for, for real. Took the flight down there. Ended up at Telemundo. I don't speak a lick of Spanish, but I'm sitting there watching TV <laughs> like I understand it. Like <laughs> you like fuck real. this. I'm Yo, getting this deal. What, okay. what? That part. Yo, that you part. I'm locked speak in. Spanish. Like, you like come on, stop. I'm yeah, locked my, in. Yo, he's at Cheech Art Crib. All right, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cheech, what's up, man? Yo, took on the Dykeman, yo. <laughs> word, up? Word, word. Do you know what Dykeman is? Uh, Dyke, Dykeman is where the energy is at. Okay. Yeah, well, Dykeman that's a good answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Great answer. Yeah. <laughs> well, Dykeman, Dykeman, <laughs> Dykeman is fucking DR mm-hmm. in New York. Yes, yeah, for That's sure. basically what for it sure. is. So you love so, the women out there? Oh, yeah, I love it. it, it I, 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 I say that it, it's not, they're not for the weak. 
Okay. And not for the week of heart. Like, so you met like, a New York woman? Yeah. They with the shenanigans. She told you, like, yo, shut the fuck up, my nigga? Like, nah, they, yeah. they ain't bug out of me like that, though. Yeah. Bro. Right. I know it's that's possible. When, that's when she loves yeah. you, though. Yeah. Don't, don't yeah. get mad. I know mad. it's possible. Yeah. When she, right. when she really loves she tell right. you, shut up, bitch yeah. ass nigga. Yeah. She that. definitely in love. <laughs> yeah, don't get don't get yeah. scared. Of, you don't want, you don't want to beat her ass. That's love story. She loves it. So now, this all, you know, you sitting in Chief's aunt's crib, and... You meet Memphis Bleak. What was the first thing he said to you? Yo, you a, you 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 a little different. Like you a real regular dude. Like you ain't doing too much. You ain't trying to act. Cause I'm just I'm sitting there watching TV. I don't know what's going on. But mind you, like it's it's like the 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 notion that um. Well, I, it's like an old Asian saying, but it's like, you know, be like a duck, like above water, mm-hmm. you know, appear to be as smooth and calm and collected as possible. But underneath the water, like you got to paddle like your life depend on it. That's, yes, facts. that's what it was like to me. I got it. You know, I'm cool. I got the calm face. But in my head, I'm like, boy, I'm locked in. Like, I got <laughs> everything I'm trying to get. You feel yeah. me? Like, I'm in here now. Like, music, yeah. dude. Where's my chain at, nigga? Mm-hmm. That yeah. part, that part, that part. So w- when, when did you, uh, now, Bleak, when, when did you really... Cause Bleak talks about you. He's like, uh, you know, y'all just did the freestyle, and I was like, mm-hmm. yo, you know, maybe, you know, he might not nah, be. He's like, nah. man, I don't sign whack artists, Jay. <laughs> Straight nah, up. we got it. He yeah, said that to it, me, yeah. yo, nah, cause he was hitting me like, yo, you sure he need the uh, what beat? I'm like, yo, he got the beat. Don't worry about it, Jay. Then mm-hmm. he like, yo, if he need to do a couple takes, I'm like, Jay, <laughs> if it ain't yeah, to do, if he need to do a couple takes, we driving him. Cause I don't sign whack mm-hmm. but, and, and that's the thing that you get for the, for now this generation that you know. That we need the OGs around. Definitely, they need it. These young boys definitely need it. I say they need that Alonzo morning on eighteen. Yeah, because uh-huh. I, I feel like sometimes these kids are not prepared, and um, just you know, you speaking, you you seem like you do have your head, you know your head on your shoulders, mm-hmm. but a lot of like I know that you know because remember I, I sent a couple people to you it was like hey I'm not trying to eat no beef with no niggas. <laughs> What's up with this nigga? Like, I'm not shooting out with no nigga. Oh, yeah. Nah, these rap niggas is too tapped in, man. They yeah. they, they spilling the beans. That's what we used to say when we was young, right? They spilling the beans in the booth. What, what, what is your criteria for, you know, just shining Huey V and he's, he's the truth? Just me, when I hear an artist, you have to be, like I say, just one of a kind. You have to be yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what I think what hurts New York for me right now because when I listen to a lot of these artists it's like everybody is trying to recreate the pop smoke Yeah, you know mm-hmm. what I mean feel in the city mm-hmm. which I, I'm not mad it's a big void in the city God bless it yeah. you know what I mean the young homie but it's like it's only one pop smoke it will never be another Yeah, you mm-hmm. know what I mean and mm-hmm. it's like then you got the ones like the Fabio the um uh, what's the homie that's locked up that's on Winter Circle Chef G. Chef like, G. They got their own style, but then you got a hundred other people that want to sound like them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So when I hear people sending me music, it's like, all right, hey, you little Favi. All right, little Chef. Mm-hmm. All right, this one, little this one. Now it's like all these niggas is Ice Spice to me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> what a compare. Yo. We got Ice Spice male rappers now? Yo, bro, come on. Yeah, I'm keeping it 100. Uh-huh. Like, it bars still matter, man. Like, that's why J. Cole, Drake, mm-hmm. Kendrick, like people like Wayne, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Even two chains. Bars matter, mm-hmm. man. Like that bars shit gonna matter. come in and go, B. That shit just a fad, like they said. Attention span. I mean, you always see it. Like the fans do not grow and, with a person. <laughs> and I don't understand why everybody chasing that fad because who putting up the numbers? Where's the plaques at? Who coming home with the plaques, coming back to the hood like, yeah, I just sold 10 million. I did mm-hmm. the tour. Because me as an artist, yeah. I wanted to be like Kane and Biz Mark and them, KRS One yeah. and them. I fucked with everybody else, but I wasn't trying to be the local they go in the corner rapping. You bugging. <laughs> yeah. I want to go on tour like them. That, so, but my thing is, it's the money. The money gets the money is so quick. You like like we was just talking about a certain artist that you know. She doesn't have a platinum record, you know, and they're getting over a hundred k a a verse, and you know, even they, they some of these artists right. are getting hundred fifty k. She don't need a platinum record. Her impact is platinum. Mm. That's what you need today, like, cause music is, you know, you don't have to stream to be big. Music is just a stepping stone right now to move on to be an influencer, mm. to be someone that you could be a brand ambassador. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Shorty influence Sexy Red is, come on, bro, her impact is larger than But she makes right good records. I mean, she does make good records, though. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that. I'm never gonna take away yeah. from nobody eating in this game. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
But Shorty is murdering them right now. Do you back, kill that, me? She is back fucking to back. All the girls though. You got Glorilla. You got Lotto. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Of course, Cardi and Nicki been slaughtering them. Yeah. Right? I like to see the new youth come up. A lot of women, because before it was just when they used to have the award shows and they come up to the female. Mm -hmm. It used to just be like Nicki mm -hmm. and. Yeah. Yeah. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Yeah, she was versus herself. <laughs> I'm just being real. What? I have to thank you. A couple of weeks ago, you 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 hung out with me. And the thing about Bleak is he'll he, he's going to let you know if he feels uncomfortable or it's just a funny situation. <laughs> so he's been telling me this for the last 2 weeks, you know what I mean? But but what but you but the respect I give is that you understand that I have to grind with my artists to get these certain looks. Definitely, definitely. It's it's a one hand wash the other business, man. Do you think that this nowadays that, you know, shout to D the Weatherman, my brother right there, that that loss of art of one hand wash another is gone? Oh, of course. These kids know <laughs> that one hand, they like, yeah, just wash my hand, peace, homie. I got certain people that, you know, and I'm going to say it, like they 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 they're uncomfortable promoting their album. They looking at the looking at the the person that's doing like we, you know what I mean? Let's just speed this up. Yeah. Why, why though? I don't know. Some, some people, mate, go ahead. Go ahead. Some, some people just ain't got the social skills. I, I, I'll be honest with you. Like it's this music stuff ain't for the fair hearts. Like you can't just come in and just be <laughs> nice at music and expect you to you know to go. The full like, package. You feel me? You yeah. have you have to have it. You have to have it. It's too many. One, it's too many people with phones nowadays. Like everybody can be. Yeah, my a attention star span overnight. is shot. I'm you telling me? you, and that's what happened too. Like mm -hmm. the takeoff where he's saying a lot of these kids don't have the knowledge, the social skills to be out here talking, but then they get a record that shoot through the roof mm -hmm. and puts them in the front of everybody's living room. Yes. And now they exposed. Mm -hmm. And they can't handle it. Because back in the day, you can hide a weirdo artist. <laughs> All you saw him was Double <laughs> XLs, mm -hmm. The Source. Tell Bleak, Ble you know not say no words, but has it, and you don't have to, and I know you're not going to say no words, but during, you know, during, you know, you coming up, and it was certain people that you you was like, man, I fuck with them. I kind of looked up to their music. It was like a weird situation that you ever had. You was like, the fuck? Me, me and somebody? Yeah. Nah, nobody never played with me. They know. I, no, no, I mean, just you being. Seen what Draymond Green did? I'd have did that to them. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. They Shout out to Draymond, that, man. They Very... don't want that yoke. Yo, he you was out of control. I'm from the era of the yoke. Oh, man. <laughs> what, was a, what, was a, what was the most craziest situation on tour that you seen? And she was like, I got to get up out of here because this nah. might get crazy. No, no, no. I never, I always was with the shits, man. I was never one to be like, I got to get out of here. But the illest thing I just was telling Huey the other day, it was probably it was like a week ago, like, y'all young niggas ain't never really been through nothing. Yeah. Until you, until you turned the club upside down, and they lock you <laughs> in the club, and now you have to pay to leave, you ain't really turned up. Well, I, I, what do you mean you have to pay to leave? Yeah, we turned this club man, up in Miami you upside pockets. down, my nigga. They made us pay 50 grand to leave, hove. You had to pay 50 racks. Police night, and they extorted the fuck out of us. Wow. But we cracked heads, faux heads, faces. <laughs> you we did, was going crazy. You did the uh, uh, Bronx Tale? Yeah. Uh, now you can't leave. Yeah, yo, that, they did that to us. They oh. locked the doors. We had to pay to get out. They, you know, wow. they shook us up. This, this was streets is watching Hove. See, they see billionaire, yeah. you know, dread Hove. They think my man ain't got them hands. Hove will put knuckles on you. <laughs> He'll put them hard bottoms on your ass too. So you was fighting in the club, yeah, yeah. And, and he the, used to, to start trouble too. Wow. Yeah, all that Chris Style nigga was, he was on some shit. <laughs> Just know that Hove was on some shit. All his laid back, cool Beyonce Hove. Yeah. I love it, but back then he was on some shit. And you, and you being the, the the young little brother, you had to really turn up. Yeah, I was on some shit too. I thought that's how I go. Fuck it, follow up. Because you know I'm from the hood. If you didn't fight when you got back to the hood, they jumped you. Yeah. So in this case, it was like, damn, I don't get fired. I can't go back on tour. So I'm going out first. Cause I ain't going back home. <laughs> you wasn't going back home. So you was going on. Word up. Now, now making this project with Huey, um, who have you been tapping in? Like, uh, in like I know both of y'all in the whole you know warehouse, you know, come together and say, yo, I want to uh, look for certain features. What type of features are you looking for? <clears throat> Um, to be honest with you, I'm I'm with whoever is is hungry right now. Like I'm I'm looking for that feeling. Like whatever whatever bring that hip hop back vibe mm -hmm. feeling. You know, like uh, I got the joint with Neek. 
I, 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 I messed with that one heavy. I messed with that one heavy. He, he, he did his thing on that one. Um, but I got a, I got a couple more joints with RJ. We probably got an EP or something like that coming out. Like mm -hmm. wh whoever I see is is having a way in their own, you know, in their own personal way. I, I like to work with them. Like work now, with them. now, when did you uh, actually start rapping? Because I didn't ask you that. Probably was like I was probably like fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, yeah, like fourteen. I started when, doing poetry at like thirteen. When did you really say I'm gonna take this shit serious? At sixteen, after I got my first mic. Yeah. Wow! Yeah, so you record yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you got to, you yeah, got to, you got to. No, no, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Warehouse receipts go right to bleak. You know what I mean? I record. Nah. Yo, nah. Yeah, yeah now nah. I'm on them. They know my name, Nickel and Dime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nickel and Dime this year. Mm -hmm. Have you ever? Have, do you know how to record yourself, or do you? Of course. Of course. Shout out Young Guru, man. He had that book of, the book of goo in the studio. <laughs> yeah. Where he had it broke down, everything, all the plugins, everything. So I used to study the book and taught myself. Like, if you listen to my last album, 534, the song I did with M.O.P., if you listen to mm -hmm. another song, Fame Say, y'all Yo, don't take the mic in the bathroom or no shit like that? That's because we recorded it right there in the hotel room. Wow. Right there. Straight up. Everybody verse. Now, you know, I, and I have to ask you this question, you know, Talking about producers, you know, you, you, you've had a lot of crazy um, records. What was one record that you, you denied and you should have took? A beat. Uh, what's the joint with um, Fab with Little Mo and the other guy singing on it? It just Blaze produced it. I forgot the name of the record, but I had the beat first. I really want to be with you? I think so. I really want to be with you? Yeah. Yes. I had that beat first. Why? Because Just made the beat for me, gave it to me. And then I guess he had a session with Fab, and Fab liked it, and he hit me. I remember Just texting me, yo, Fab really liked that beat. You've been sitting on it for a couple weeks, bleak. Yeah. You sell it to Fab. I was like, nah, go ahead. Let Fab get it. Then he dropped the single, and I was like, motherfucker. Yeah. I hate these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Because, you know, like, you, you and... and Listening to your music, and I know Huey probably has listened to your catalog, you've never been the rapper that's like, I'm just going to rap hardcore. You know what I mean? You can get back on your, your, your suit and tie shit. Excuse me, Miss Bleak. But what, what, how did you like change, your, change when you heard those type of beats? Just be natural. Just be who you are. It's like... Young Memphis. It's like being a gangster to, be a, to a baby. Like, when you, when you get around a baby, you yeah. naturally... Come out like mm -hmm. you, you act a little softer with the kids. Uh -huh. So it's like being around a woman. You learn how to caress a woman. Like yeah. you gotta caress that beat, baby. Yeah, but that was young Memphis. You know, used to be the apprentice. You know. Now I mean? those records, Snoop on there. I gotta talk my shit. Can't have my man talking about P I M P L O G. Come on, now, I gotta now, talk my shit. Now, now being a fellow, <laughs> being a fellow smoker, you've heard the news. It's Cap, Captain Crunch, and he's selling Snoop Snoop Loops. I don't know. I think I should Captain Crunch be. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I mean, he's he's retired smoking. Cap, you're 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 a real smoker. Cap and Nick. So you're gonna keep on smoking? Who me? Yeah. That's right, baby. I ain't. Come on, I ain't got no grandchildren. He said he did it for his grands, right? Yeah. I ain't got no grandkids. But Leak. you have a a, a, a beautiful princess. Yeah, Leek, you better keep that fitted hat on both heads, nigga. I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess that's the answer to your question. No grads yet. You yeah, you, that's the answer to your question. That you you gonna keep on smoking? Yeah, I'm I'm smoked. I'm, what my man say? I'm smoked low dog. What <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, who and, and being in this business? Who 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 really outsmoked you? And he was like, man, he the only one made me quit twice, and now he want to stop when I want to rematch. <laughs> Some sucker shit, right? Damn. Yeah, it's like that's that's like a nigga want to rematch with Floyd, and he like, nah, I'm retiring. I mean, it, lo it looks serious, though. It lo no, Snoop is serious. Snoop, no, I'm Snoop. saying it looks serious that he's really, you know, retired. All right, we'll see. Yeah, Two you see, months, you we'll see. You seen the post? He, he was posing. Yeah, he was like, like he was looking crazy, man. man. Like, That's serious business. When you take the post next to the message, it's serious. I ain't even going to lie to you. Yeah, he, right. he might not come back. I, I seen, I did it before. Why? I stopped before because I had to go to Dubai. You know, shit like Morocco. Yeah. I'm about to stop at the end of the year. I got to do my, my anniversary. I'm going to the Maldives and, you know, they don't play that shit. I, anywhere I look at it and they say, you die for the drug trafficking? Wow. Blizzle for a business. <laughs> Word. I'm going to just go for the experience. Yeah, I've never seen that. So so this country, like when you went to, you've been to Dubai a couple of times, you've really had to like not smoke at all. No smoke, bro. No smoke. Straight, Nothing straight sneak. cold turkey. Sneak where? Sneak where? 
I don't know. I never can't been even tweet in Dubai something wrong. They kick you out the country. Crazy. Like, wow. literally, if you tweet on Can the Can you land, drink? Yeah, you could drink. You could smoke hookah. I went at the wrong time because the hookah bars was closed, too. <laughs> they said it was too hot to light it. It was too hot. What? Yo, I swear. Yo, bro, I, yo, me and my wife got in a major argument yeah. because we went to the water park, which I'm thinking Dubai's hot as shit. We need a water park. Yeah. So you're looking at the water park, the line is through the building. Yeah. And I'm telling my wife, Some great I'm going to stand in this line for a two-minute wa water ride? You <laughs> bugging. I'm going to the beach. So she waited in line. It was there for like 40 minutes while 40 I'm minutes. on the beach, <laughs> chilling. <laughs> like, word. She was pissed at me that I ain't want to get on the water ride in Dubai. Like, fuck the water ride. So, like, so, so, it's, so it's just, just hookah out there? No yeah, weed? Yeah, hookah, no weed. Nah. nah. Medieval. Yeah, they, they gonna clip you. <laughs> Bali, subject to death. <laughs> what? Yeah, Morocco, subject to death. I found hash in Morocco. So, you know me, I'm from the back in the day old school. You mix the hash with the weed yeah. and you smoke it. So, out there, they like, yeah, oh, we got this hash. You can smoke this. It's the same. So I'm like, let me smoke it. I died. <laughs> the first day I died, and then I came back to life. What do you mean you died? I died, Jay. Listen, <laughs> I was out there. You know what was? Yeah, right. What's the movies like How High, where the nigga get high and they start floating? Yeah. Nigga, I started seeing shit. I had to go to sleep, Cap. Like, listen, it's over. It's Shut over. it down. It's no more. The Moroccan goons got me. <laughs> <laughs> Huey. We, we I, you know, I want to explain, you know, the project. Now, we coming out with a, a, a EP or, or a whole album? Um, EP. Yeah, we're going to come over here with an EP. Yeah, yeah. One more, right? Yeah, you know, you got to build up the anticipation. The anti the de definitely. Yeah, yeah. Now, who could we expect on this EP? Uh... Ooh, honestly, honestly, I don't know. It, it could it could be a mixtape with just by myself. It could be a mixtape with some other extra people. It all depends on what's the vibe. Mm -hmm. You could definitely look forward to EP coming with another um, label mate right now, RJ. Out of right. New Orleans. Okay, yeah, who's yeah. RJ? Oh, this is another label mate? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, not on Warehouse. You're oh. on Rock Nation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you Shout out to RJ. If they want to move him over to Warehouse, I'll mm -hmm. gladly take yeah. oh, Okay, okay. <laughs> Shout out to RJ. He messed with that boy heavy. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, for, well, sure, for sure, a tape with him or something like that. Yeah. All right. you, who knows? Who knows, man? So y'all been sparring. Y'all yeah, his ear. Y'all might get a bleak Huey tape. Who knows? No, I like that. You ready for that, though? I know they waiting on it. Like like Can you get on that court? What? I'm asking, bro. Man, I got, my knees ain't that bad. All right, I'm just asking. Yeah. I could give you at least. <laughs> I ain't Jordan with the 45 on that. <laughs> nah, nah, not yet. Listen, Jordan <laughs> was still averaging 26 points a game, brother. Yeah, one mm -hmm. game a week. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me ask you because Bleak, Bleak, you watch sports. Uh, who's your top five uh, basketball players ever? Ever? Yeah. Like, ever. Oh, they're just top five. You gonna say ever? No, ever, top five ever in my life that I saw my two eyes play. Cause you know it be niggas up here. Yeah, Elgin Bell. You never even seen them play. Yes, yes. Chill out. <laughs> you know what I'm Elgin saying? Bell, like, yeah. People I seen play in my lifetime. We going, we going by numbers, bro. Yeah, Jordan. Number one. All day. Okay, I agree. Braun. Number two. For number one, we got to give a double number one. Jordan and Braun. It's a double number one. Here we are, man. It's too, a bro. double mm -hmm. number two too. Magic and Isaiah. Wow, no Kobe? Chill out. All right, I'm bro, I'm just asking. I ain't, this is my list. All right. Damn, you want to fight my list? <laughs> no, I don't want to Yo. fight your list. <laughs> you, number three is tied two. You got to put Shaq and Kobe there. Mm. You know what I mean? I got, it, I, it's too many to name just five because number four, I'm going to go to like, number four, man, you got to give it to Tim Duncan. Okay. Biggest, greatest big man ever put it down. That's yeah, the, the big game show, right the big yeah. fundamental. Yeah. Number five, it's a toss up. It's still out in the open right now because you got Jokic going crazy right now. But you, you, you're going to put Jokic in your top yeah, five but, already? But listen, he's going oh. crazy. His numbers is going. I said it ain't over yet. Okay. That fifth spot, who we, we can't just close the door. Who we going to put there? Who you want to put in my fifth spot? I mean, there's a lot of people to put in your. your I said Magic Johnson. Larry Bird. Larry Bird get out of there, Schmarry Bird. Yeah, I, I, I thought he was <laughs> overrated too. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I always thought he was overrated. Come on, that's Caparoni. I said the people I seen play. <laughs> exactly. I ain't never seen yeah, the we sky hook. Yeah, we gonna see people we seen play. Um, I seen play. Not you I'm, I'm gonna say. Play. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna say for me. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go with Clyde AI. Drexler. 
I'm going to go See, with See, but AI not better than Clyde. Are you kidding me? Yo, chill. He got a what? The handle? You he saying the best, better? the best little man He's the best the little game. man with a handle in the game. That's my man. I know AI yeah. personally. So, yeah. listen. We Clyde not gonna Drexler? Take, bro, listen. Nah, I'm bugging. Nah, I'm, I'm bugging. Hey, she said you bugging. Nah, y'all niggas. <laughs> She's bugging. walking out. <laughs> Clyde was Clyde, up there. Clyde the Glide. <laughs> Clyde the Glide was I, up I, there. I'll I, I give Dominique I before. Put, I'll do Dominique. I, I was just about to I say. I say Dominique before, before or Clyde the Glide. Before AI, you got to put Clyde, Dre, you got to put Drexler, you got to put Barkley, and you got to put Dominique. My G, like you bugging. Like yeah, that's what I'm, I'm saying. We, we, are There's we too st- many people. We based it on the 80s, though. You just said these are People 80s I play. seen play. Yes. So Dwayne Wade, you're not saying Dwayne Wade? Nah. Mm. Okay, I mean. He I, was good. They good. There's rings. There's a lot of rings. Yo, there. they good. <laughs> Clyde, Clyde Drexler has never had a ring. Neither does AI. I'm just saying, AI had a better impact than Clyde. Yes, he did. But they thought Clyde was going to be Jordan until Jordan showed them he not. All right, and AI has never ran into somebody that they thought was going to be him. Yes, they he, did. They swept him out of the final. Sweep him, sweep him, sweep him. He, he, he had a, a bum squad. He, was, he, was, he played against the Lakers. Yo, nobody care when you say that about Braun. Why do why he get that then? And Who? they don't give that because to he's compared. Because when they sweat, when the Spurs sweat, Braun he ain't have nobody but Varage. He, he's, he's, who, who did he have? All right, that, that's Eric not that's Snow. not that's not he our problem. All these niggas, that's so not don't our problem. That. That's we're not, not in basketball. Do that. In basketball, we're not going to make you excuses. See? You see for what I'm grace. saying? Jeez, are we making excuses for grace? We're not talking about Clyde. We're talking about Braun no, and Jordan, the top of, listen, L- of everything. You said AI didn't have nobody I'm, when he played the I'm Lakers. To, Neither did Braun when he yeah, played but, the Spurs yeah, when but he we was can, on the we Cavs. Can't, we, they're not in the same room, bro. AI and Braun is not in the same room. We talk about Mike and Mike and Jordan, Mike, Mike and Braun. And Jordan, Mike you Braun, want to battle itself? No, Mike, Braun, and Kobe. Those are in the same room. You yeah. can't make you can't make excuses for grace. All right, so listen. Jordan never won nothing until another great came. Kobe what? never won nothing until another great came. Scotty, and neither did LeBron win nothing until another great came. LeBron lost ten times in the finals, bro. But he got five rings. Ten times bro. in the finals. So, so you're supposed what? to be great. You're not supposed to lose, right? Jordan's never lost in the finals. He got, yo, yo, listen. <laughs> He's never lost in the finals. He never Lee. made it to the finals either to Pippen King. Lee. All right. And, and Braun took Average and Varage out there. Okay. And Who the fuck is Jordan that? Jordan put fucking Name Cliff me Lev- the next nigga that right. was on the Jordan Cavs that Cliff he took Le- to the chip. Cliff Leviston. Until Scottie Pippen Bill came. Bill Cartwright. Listen, until Scottie Pippen came, look, Steve Jordan Kirk. didn't even see this conference finals. Craig Hodges. <laughs> until they got, until they got. Will Perdue. Shot. They didn't even see the Horace Grant, Will Purdue, or who team? This is the Bulls. These are, all, but they, these these are Bulls. Scotty Pippen was a second 50. round. Huh? You name it top fifty. He made them play. He made them better. He's never lost. No. All right, well, so here we. I, I got it. I got. We Stop bugging. <laughs> hey, you you got bugging. It. You got it. He trying to make the narrative. I'm not you making. Heard what, listen, when LeBron got a great you player, in, Wade, he got his chips. Let me ask right? you, son. Let me ask you, son. You are you can't from, win them all. You are from the kin of the greatest rapper of all time. And I see it's my man. different levels, yo, right? Yo. And he wasn't born at that level. It's different. It he wasn't. He climbed to that all right, level. He climbed to he that level. He started at the bottom he too. To that when level. Niggas was trying to but kick Hope him down never had a whack album ever. No, of course not. Okay, all right. But and some greats that had. Trash cans, and we're not gonna say what greats had a trash can. It's a lot. It's a lot. I'm not do gonna it. say it. Do it. No, I'm not saying do it. Cause I, I nah, got, you gotta do it. I, got I need your, a lot of you. I got you. Got, your I'm back. invested. You if gotta do it. They want smoke. It's smoke nah, with me. It's cool. Too. We good. There we, we go. Good. Yes, nah, man. man. Here we, man. You know, you the man of the hour, man. Took over Warehouse Music Group, and you know, uh, no grits just came on. Yes, man. So what we looking forward to in the future, 2024. 2024, look, look forward to the takeover. I'll mm-hmm. keep it simple. Look forward to the takeover. I'm trying to end up on everything. You're going to see us everywhere, air mixtape, whatever. Yeah, we, I see you on the clue joint, too. Yeah, we're going on a Wayne run. That's, yeah. that's how I feel right now. We're going to go on a Wayne run. Yeah, man. Sure. man. Shout out shout to Clue, but right. they, they could have put me in that mixtape thing because I was very hot. You know what I mean? I took over yeah. when he left. Yeah. 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 He knows that. Yes. That's right. Sure. Being no, real. That's right. Put some respect on his name. No, no, Put some respect on no, his name. Sorry. Nah, I'm just fucking with Clue. Shout out to Clue the Goat, man. You know, made it made it possible for me to be up here just following his you know his greatness. But Bleak, what's up, what's up man? You know, I, I you know it is it, is crazy because you can't really get Bleak in New York City a lot. 
He's Don't say that. Niggas gonna think I. They gonna think Jada Kiss gonna say that to me. Now the next, the next verses. <laughs> Damn. Yes, fuck man. Me up, Jay. Now, 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 Kiss, you better not. I had, I had to check you. <laughs> I gotta check you. You're my brother, right? What's and that? I'm putting you right on on the thing because I was the one because you didn't give me my my flowers. And, and, and we talk during this is because Bleak talked during the COVID. That's right. We talk all the time. Yes. I always hit Jay up. You know, we chop it up. Yeah, he he sent me a lot of New York artists. We yeah. be chopping it up a lot off the air behind the he scenes. Fr- shit. He frisked me on every artist. He's like, nah, nah Jay. Shout out to Nadine. Nadine been on her silent them, assassin shit. Nadine. Them niggas don't listen to no music up there. Like, you heard Beans on Hard Knock Life tape. You seen your demo tape niggas like this. Yeah. yeah. That's how they up there right now. Nah, they but Nadine, he always the truth. So let's let's put a little bit more budget in him. Yeah, you know what I mean? To fly him to LA to get the deal. Yeah. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Go go see me. I'm very I'm not I'm not the dude that's not I'm really in the clubs. You know, it's a yeah, lot of let them know. taste down. makers that's just not really not in, in nowhere. You that's know what, what I'm saying? saying. They ain't right? outside. Because you had D. me in the trap last week. Look, look, look. Look outside. at D. D's one of them. He, D he, be he, outside. He's loyal to his, his his taste makers that's yo, not in the club no more. Yo, but D is a, <laughs> D, I always say this about Cheech. I mean about D. Me, I be telling Cheech. Whenever they book that party in motherfucking Salsa, he makes sure he got his flyer coming out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> D is everywhere. Listen, D is everywhere. Yo, that nigga be like, I'm hosting with you, nigga. D is everywhere. Legendary Big D, the weather man. We got. I gotta get. I gotta tell Ron because I want to do an interview with D because D's been around for a you minute. Know what I'm saying? For a minute now, Bleak. You know, I because I, I. You know, now we know that on camera, I'm the one that asked that. You know the verses. Shout out my G, starting that drama that niggas ain't want no part of. You I, I, heard? I, it's not really I started the drama. I just felt like <laughs> Memphis Bleak needed a verses. Yeah, niggas ain't want no smoke. Like was talking Memphis all Bleak that. has records. Yeah, niggas was you know, yo. It was a lot of cap going on on online. All that jury this, this impact. That. Memphis yo. Bleak started the the, the fittings, man. Yo. In the in the shape up, you you know what I mean. Come you on, say in the shape up. Don't give me the Steve Harvey, baby. Nah, man. <laughs> bleak, bleak, bleak. Been at the, the goatee, man. Yo, Come on, bleak. Don't give me the paint at all. Bleak baby. always had the sharp goatee, you man. Know what I'm saying, niggas know my shit been real, baby. <laughs> now, now, you know, if, if the jewels in Memphis Bleak versus happen, I mean, who else would you want to go against? It's nobody single. I battle anybody. I'm good for. I battle Hove. Tell Hove do verses against me. <laughs> Let's go. I battle anybody. What about what about a Memphis Bleak and um, Ti? Ti get smoke. That's my dog. But it's smoke. Whoever wants smoke is smoky. Cause you had Ti and um, Trick Daddy on your record. You want me to battle them both? Smoky. Let's go. Fuck it. What would you lead with? What my first record? Yeah, your first record. Man, I got a lot of shit to lead with. I could take them back to before half these kids was even born. Marcy to Hollywood. You know, we could do Can I Live remix. I love For the Fair, man. That come later, though. You don't set it off with that. No, I'm not. I'm just saying I love For the Fair. I appreciate you. And you know what's crazy? Dane made me that. I ain't gonna lie. Dane was on me about that song. And uh, um, joint with Cam and Beans. Let let me ask you. um, Dame is always in the media. Yo, the la- yo, yo, yeah, niggas is media. Man. Yeah, he's always, you know what I mean, shout out to Dane. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? You, you, I put a couple of clips, you know, sometimes he be having some hella dope clips. Um, he got game, but you know. How, when's the last time you, you've, like, physically spoken to Dane? Uh, probably, like, about, i say two, three months ago. Shout out my nigga Freeway for the setup, you heard? Okay. What was that, what, <laughs> what, what was that um, conversation about, like? We was on the middle of a conference, Freeway. You know, Freeway do the thing with the schools and yeah. all of that. Yeah, shout around. out to my guy, Freeway. He be doing the talking with the schools. So he was like, yo, Bleak, I want to get you involved with talking to the kids at the schools. But I know I want you to get on the, the Zoom with everybody. <laughs> so you, so I'm like, I Zoom is crazy, it too, because it be so pop, right, faces he, pop up. He throw the Zoom on, and Dane was there. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> you set me up, huh? Spicy. <laughs> Word. So me and Dave chopped it up, but that that was that was the last time I spoke or so. Okay, what did y'all say? He was like, yo, what up? Nah, you always going to keep it called you. That's my dog. He the OG at the end of the yeah. day. I ain't going to never disrespect Dane like that. Nah, nah, there's niggas no disrespect. Put, niggas put me on, man. My life wouldn't be what it is. I mean, we grew up on Memphis though. Bleak, man. You remember you know when Backstage saying? is one of my favorite movies, man. And they, see, they sent you home to do the album. And they, Huey, yeah. they might have to do that to you, man. Yeah. yeah. Sent the boy home for yeah, the album. on the propeller plane, too. I don't <laughs> even think niggas fly on those no more. <laughs> shit. Yo, he's Word. like, yo, they got me on this yeah. fucking cold last thing. Yeah. Did and you? I didn't even know who Swiss yeah. was then. I had just met Swiss. Wow. Plans me, Swiss, and Lenny S on a little charted propeller joint 
flying home from Buffalo in a Buffalo. fucking snowstorm to Crazy. New York. More turbulence than a roller coaster in Coney Island. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, what? Shit was bad. I always wanted to ask you, when was the, because you had a lot of records. When was it? When was that record where you was like, "Damn, I'm that nigga right now"? I don't. I, I don't think I ever caught that feeling. I was. I was nervous of every record I ever put out, Jay. Wow. Because I this thing. I, I never prepared to be a rapper. That somebody. I just wanted to rhyme and impress the Come girls. Come on, man. Do my ladies like? Is that your chick? I didn't even like that beat. Nah. Do my. Wow. I didn't even like the beat. Hove was like, "You bugging? You don't hear the hook?" And he said the hook. Then I'm like, "Now I like it. If you saying the hook, I love it." Yeah. <laughs> what about is that your chick? What was the least favorite hit record that you didn't like? Because you just said uh, Duma, but what was the least favorite hit re record? Because you had a lot. Yo, please, fans, don't hate me. Memph Bleak is. What? Memph Bleak is. That felt like, I, that felt, I, at that time, you had the city. I, it, yo, it was. I was on fire. That shit was everywhere. <laughs> but I was Bleak nervous. Is. It ain't that I didn't like the record because of what I said, the beat or anything. It was just... It was a time when no one knew who Bleak was. So it was like, people going to say my name? You sure? For real? Yeah, they I'm, did. I, yes, they did. So, you know, I, I was nervous. That's what I'm saying. I, I ain't know the impact of none of these records. Now you got to, you could gauge what you're going to do. These artists, they got, you know, they got all yeah. the analytics. Back then, we was, we was winging it. Uh, we was just are, are, are you afraid somebody to, like, redo a Memphis Bleak record in this week? Because you know all these young artists are sampling everything. Yo, yo they got to chill. <laughs> yo, they yo. Gotta, but I ain't clearing it if it's weak. Oh, word. Yeah, if it's weak, I ain't clearing it. If it's weak, I ain't clearing. What about it. Ice Spice said, asked for it? It was it wasn't that the record. Ice Spice is she got some shit. But she said you heard the record. Would you clear it? Yeah, because that shit gonna do numbers. <laughs> you fucking kidding me? I clear that shit twice. <laughs> what? Ice Spice is. I be mad at the person, the lawyer even sending it to me. Like nigga, sign it for me. Fuck this wrong with you, lawyer man. <laughs> Ice Spice is. <laughs> Word, yo, chill. They can say ice spices. Hey, yo, you know how these motherfucking tomorrow they have never, one of them records, man. You never know, man. I I appreciate both of y'all coming through. Um, you know, oblique. Talk talk about the new podcast that's coming soon. Oh uh, yeah, man. Rock solid. Shout out my brother Noriega for the producing of the new podcast. Shout out to Nori. We working on it right now. We got a couple things in the in the cut. We working. You they know having trials for Coles. I'm I, I'm trying to try out. You know. Yeah, man. Cheese, man. Tell him, man. Me and Cheese talk all the time. Cheese man say, yo, you need Jay, man. Serious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here. Yo, I just seen Cam getting a massage on air. Yeah. I might need a masseuse yo, on air me, on my let... podcast. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo. Yo. How, how yo. crazy was that, man? Yo, Cam is a, yo, listen. <laughs> listen, listen. New York niggas. We may bump heads, but just know I love all of us, because we some foul niggas, man. Y'all for real think that's real, though? Like, what? That's real? No, 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 wait, that's his personality. Nah, not, 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 not them, not them, but the, the, the two the, from the couple. Y'all think that's real? Yes. Yeah, if it ain't, your wife ain't supposed to be touching another not nigga. Not even that. Y'all don't, don't think that low-key they put together this plan to come out and promote their account? What they money they get? account? Because if... Think about it. We didn't know about neither one of their situations or the mm. OnlyFans until they came Man. out. And Shorty, she just so happened to be recording home. Y'all don't think they 20, like. I think they get back on everybody right now. I ain't gonna no. lie to you. I, guess, Smith, I guarantee they run it. I don't know Joe right Smith, now. and I love him. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love this game. He's pretty good in the NBA. Real good, but. <laughs> Joe Smith ain't got no checks, and Shorty was a porn star before this. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, he wilded out anyway. No, you know what but I mean? that's, that's what I'm saying. Right. So imagine if she, all right, cool. I ain't gonna the checks ain't coming through. Huey, she gotta, you feel Huey, me? Huey, Huey, before this, he yeah. married a porn star, bro. A professional, a professional. <laughs> Not just one who did this two, ain't no, two scenes. We gonna, we gonna ah, pretend to do this shit yeah, for the next 20 no, years. just have two scenes. He dipped yeah, in the yeah, paint yeah. on a porn star, bro. Nah, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I, he wilded I, I, out. I seen like one or two, like, little, I ain't gonna you know, Will you marry a porn star, Huey? Nah, 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 nah. But at the same time, it's not, you feel me? That, that's where I see you lies. at that strip club. You was acting kind of crazy. Yo, you I'll be vibing. I'll be vibing. You feel me? I'll be vibing. I'll be vibing. I'll be vibing. <laughs> I don't think you're going to marry us. <laughs> Niggas don't marry. Man, listen, shit. listen. Whatever she did, but I, you got to understand. I don't knock your hustle. I, I don't knock yeah, the hustle. Like, you, you feel His me? hustle, though. He wild out. You don't think nah. that was real? Like, no, nah, I'm being honest with y'all. I, I don't think it's real. Listen, I don't think it's real. Listen, she was speaking. I out. think they promoting the OnlyFans let me, let, together. Uh, let, like for real. Understand, right? You yeah. subscribe. Joe Smith has nah, never. Had, you know, I, <laughs> I think he has. I think he has. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you something. <laughs> a real question, right? Yeah. Have you ever had a pair of Joe Smith sneakers? Nah, never. 
I never had a pair of Joe Smith. So why do you think that Same. he could just think about saying, I'm going to come back with my wife? <laughs> Not even that. Like, the mar- whole world. Like that market and play with him. <laughs> nah, I, I didn't, but if he worked, I mean, yo, it no, worked. Yo, though. shout out to Joe Smith, but I'm just saying, like, you yeah, really we, think we, that I'm, he was I'm like. I'm going to go get some Joe Smith shoes after this. And now There's no Joe Smith shoes, bro. Yo, chill, yeah, bro. I'm just being real. There ain't no Joe Smith shoes. no such thing as Joe Smith shoes. You probably get a Memphis Bleak shoe before Joe Smith shoe. Ain't no Joe Smith shoes. going to hear this and be mad. It's cool. Why? He going to hear this and be hot. This is reality. It's cool. Holding his shoes, he going to be hot. It's Y'all cool. tell him he ain't got no shoes well, like Bleak is not an athlete right and Bleak can get a, a, a shoe deal before Joe Smith. Uh, Joe Smith, we rooting for you. Nah, we, we are. rooting for you, man. He should be mad Yo. at He should be mad at her giving massages to everybody. Nah. Yeah. Crazy. Yo. Crazy. Wild out. I mean, she didn't do nothing. She was That's actually. What I had to say is he yo, Blink. Out. She actually was doing her job. That's what she does. She She's massaged people. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. What she? But what she was? She was supposed to send somebody on the show though. But that's something that he 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 agreed before. We talk about now. That's probably how she got him. She hit him with that woo wop, and that nigga was <laughs> like, oh, "Baby, I can't let you go. You know how Ja Rule so What would I be without you? Nigga was <laughs> like, like yeah. "Got him. He, yep. I need this, baby." Yep. She him. hit him with that professional woo wop. I mean, he was mad. It, that that didn't mm-hmm. then look like, like exactly. remember today's age basketball players these niggas is outside in college so they live a little Joe Smith era, era in college he was a real college school guy yeah mm-hmm. these school guys today is more turned <laughs> than half these street but, niggas uh, NBA, so him he yeah let me let me ask you it, son yeah. I can you, see why that happened I, 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 what's the difference because you've been through all you've been through the whole era a NBA groupie and a rap groupie they all the same. It's all the same. You gonna suck, fuck, and get out of here. <laughs> it's all the same. But it might be fuck? that one magical suck. Nah, nah. That Joe got. Nah, I don't. I chill. I think Zion, Zion going through that right now, or at least yeah. he was. He These was. These niggas is wild too. She was do on. You think, do you she think it's, it's more comfortability of dealing with a person that knows what she's, 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 you know what you're looking for, than trying to find somebody you don't know. No, nah, it's cool, you know. Everything is damaged goods. You ain't gonna find nothing out the. But rapper. I'm just saying, like maybe out the rapper maybe right that, now. Yeah. So you gonna find damaged goods. Everything that has some work. <laughs> but I mean, you don't want the then it can, <laughs> right? You don't want the open pack of noodles uh, <laughs> and noodles. Right? You take that back, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The fuck? Yeah, like, yeah I agree. <laughs> I mean, shout out to Joe. I think they got kids, so we go. We gonna leave it at that.